I've never worked with a CNC machine in my life. No experience, no background, nothing like that. And today I'm about to turn on a machine that looks serious enough to scare most beginners. Makara says that Carvera Air is designed so anyone can use it, even if you're starting from zero. So today I want to check that honestly. No experts behind the camera, no hidden skills, no shortcuts, just me, this machine, and later a very important client, my cat. If I can go from zero to a real result, that already says a lot. Let's start with the unboxing. The Carvera Air arrives in a big, heavy shipping box, and right away it feels like serious equipment. Everything is tightly secured, clearly labeled, and well protected. Inside, the first thing you see is a printed unboxing guide. It walks you step by step through the process. How to open the box, lift the machine, and remove the packaging. For a beginner, this removes a lot of uncertainty right away. The machine itself is fully wrapped and surrounded by thick protective foam. Everything feels secure and well thought out. Once the machine is out, it's time to see what's inside the remaining boxes. There's a separate box for the laser module, an essential milling bit set, a toolkit, and accessories. After that comes the materials box with acrylic, plastic, aluminum, PCB boards, and a few small extras, enough to start experimenting right away. And finally, there's the box with the fourth axis, which expands what this machine can do far beyond basic projects. Everything comes in a clear, logical order. You never stop and wonder if something is missing, and that makes the whole experience feel calm and confident from the very beginning. The Makara Carvera Air feels solid right away. It weighs around 30 kilograms, and you feel that immediately. This is not a lightweight hobby toy. It feels like a real workshop machine, just without the intimidation factor. At the same time, it's very reasonable in size. With a footprint of about 50 by 45 by 45 centimeters, it fits easily on a normal desk or workbench. When you open the lid, the total height goes up to around 84 centimeters, giving you plenty of room to work comfortably. The setup process stays just as calm. With prepared demo materials, clear instructions, and ready-to-use programs, you're not guessing or searching for answers. What really helps at this stage is that the Carvera Air doesn't just give you a machine, it gives you guidance. There's a project book included with ready-made models you can follow, so a few pages get flipped through, and a small pirate ship is chosen. It's going to be cut from wood, so everything is prepared step-by-step, step, exactly the way the instructions show. Safety glasses on, a wooden block goes onto the bed, and it's clamped down just like in the picture. There's also a dust extraction port on the side, so a regular household vacuum gets connected. Nothing special, just a normal vacuum, and it helps keep the workspace cleaner while cutting. Now comes the moment that usually scares people away from CNC machines, the first launch. What's surprising is that a computer isn't even required to get started. The machine can be controlled directly, even from a phone. There's also a big red emergency stop button. It honestly looks like something straight out of a nuclear control room, the kind of button you hope you never have to press. But if something goes wrong, one press and everything stops immediately. I double check everything, take a deep breath, and press the button. And nothing dramatic happens. The machine just works. The job starts, and it's mostly about watching. Everything feels calm and controlled. One thing becomes clear pretty quickly though. A regular household vacuum cleaner isn't really designed for long CNC jobs. It works, but it can clog up fast during continuous cutting. Makara actually offers a dedicated dust collection solution on their website, which makes a lot more sense if you plan to use the machine regularly. After some time, the first CNC-made object is ready, the pirate ship. And honestly, the reaction is very simple. That was way easier than expected. That's the moment when the fear disappears. CNC suddenly feels approachable, not scary or complicated. Once the first guided project is done, the next thought comes naturally. Repeating demos is fine, but the real test is making something of your own, and that's when an idea comes from everyday life. After the demo project, attention shifts to small things around the house. One of them is the cat. 
every time snacks are given, it's the same situation. They just go onto a piece of paper. It works, but it doesn't feel right. It's temporary, messy, and clearly not a real solution. At some point, a simple question comes up. What if something proper was made? Something simple, something just for her. The idea is kept intentionally simple, a clean shape, rounded edges, and one small detail that gives it personality, a paw shape. This isn't about being a designer or showing off complex geometry. The whole point is to turn a simple idea into a physical object without pain. The file is prepared, loaded into the Makera Carvera Air, and the process starts. This is probably the most satisfying part. You just watch the machine work, and everything feels controlled and predictable. After some time, it's done. Here it is, a real snack plate made for the cat. Is it perfect? No, it's a prototype. It needs sanding, maybe coating, maybe another iteration. But the important part is this. The idea became a real object very quickly. Now comes the most important test. The snacks go into the plate, it's placed on the floor, and the waiting begins. And yes, she approves. Honestly, that's the best feedback possible. After doing something this simple and personal, attention naturally shifts to what's actually inside the machine. For example, the spindle. The Makara Carvera Air uses a 200-watt spindle, which for a desktop CNC is all about balance and control. The speed goes from 0 up to 13,000 RPM, and it's managed with closed-loop control, meaning the machine constantly knows what's happening and adjusts in real time. Makara also claims spindle runout under 0.01 millimeters, which helps achieve cleaner details compared to many desktop machines. This is especially important for beginners. You don't want something aggressive or unpredictable. You want something stable and forgiving while learning. It's also compatible with popular cam software, so both beginners and experienced users can work comfortably. The spindle uses a standard collet system, with a 1 8 inch collet included and optional sizes like 1 quarter inch, 6 millimeters, and 4 millimeters. Tool changes are simple and straightforward, so there's no lock-in to anything exotic or complicated. Cooling is air-based, which keeps things clean and relatively quiet. For cleaner cuts or better chip removal, the machine also supports air assist with an external air compressor. Then there's the motion system, which is a big reason why the machine feels so confident when it's running. Closed loop stepper motors make sure the machine always knows if it's moving exactly the way it should. If something resists or slips, it corrects itself instead of blindly continuing. The drive system is built more seriously than you'd expect at this size. On the Z axis, there are linear rails combined with a ball screw. On the X and Y axis, hardened, chrome-plated linear shafts with ball screws are used. In real life, this translates into more stable and predictable movement, better repeatability, and cleaner results. The machine can also move fast when needed, with a maximum travel speed of around 4,000 millimeters per minute. This setup also includes a fourth axis and a laser module. Even if they're not used on day one, they completely change how you think about what's possible. The fourth axis allows work on rotating parts instead of just flat pieces. The supported work area goes up to about 9.2 centimeters in diameter and 20 centimeters in length. You just chose this figure you want to carve, and then you just see the magic how it turns out. As you can see, the result is amazing. The shape, the details, the smooth curves, it looks way better than you can expect. The laser module adds another layer of flexibility. It's a 5-watt laser with a 445 nanometer diode, ideal for engraving and fine details. For this example, the Makara Carvera Air engraved a portrait photo. You can see how the image is built line by line by the laser and laser engraving can easily be combined with CNC cutting in one workflow. It works well with aluminum, brass, and copper, and can also handle steel and titanium with some limitations. Wood is handled easily, hardwoods, softwoods, MDF, and plywood, as well as plastics like PVC, ABS, acrylic, PC, and HDPE, plus composite materials like carbon fiber and FR4. At this point, it's very clear that this is still a beginner's journey. There's a lot to learn, and that's exactly why the Makara Carvera Air makes sense. 
It doesn't block you at the start, and it doesn't become boring as skills grow. You can enter easily, but there's no ceiling above you. So to finish, here are five reasons why the Makara Carvera Air actually makes sense. First reason, it's genuinely beginner-friendly without feeling dumbed down. The machine guides you through the process, reduces mistakes, and builds confidence from the very first project. Second reason, serious precision and smart automation you usually expect from much bigger machines. Everything here is built for accuracy, repeatability, and reliability. Third reason, creative freedom, especially with the fourth axis and laser included. Rotating objects, engraving, and mixed workflows open the door to much more interesting projects. Fourth reason, clean, safe, and well-thought-out design that works at home or in a small workshop. Everything feels controlled, intentional, and comfortable to use indoors. Fifth reason, this is a machine you grow into, not out of. You can start simple, and as skills improve, the machine is still ready for more. This video isn't really about a CNC machine, it's about how complex technology becomes accessible. If you want to learn more about the Makara Carvera Air, you'll find the link in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Tech in Black video.